Hello, I'm JW, and a quick video, uh, just a continuation of that previous one about the Neon Screwdriver. Now, I've got another one here, which is uh, allegedly a better quality one from a at least a named manufacturer. It's uh, pretty much the same design, the only difference being that the end of this one does not just unscrew, and there's not a big hole in the end, it's just got the metal stud in the centre of that one. But inside it's pretty much the same components, the uh, resistor Neon on the uh, spring in there. But uh, more interestingly, this actually came with this instruction book. A uh, very small thing there, but we'll uh, focus on to that. But um, this actually uh, doesn't tell you how to use it, but it tells you all of the things that you're not supposed to do and uh, when it can actually not work at all. So uh, the uh, problem here, as it says here, it says the uh, stated voltages are nominal voltages, and you use it in this range, temperatures 10 to 50, well, fair enough, frequency 50 to 500, but then we've got the reading is not guaranteed in poor light conditions, well, fairly obvious. And presumably that means if it's too bright rather than uh, not uh, bright enough. Uh, it doesn't work on insulated surfaces or non-earthed AC networks, such as an uh, isolating transformer, as demonstrated in that previous video. Before you use functional test, well, that's fine, except uh, obviously if you haven't got a uh, device you can test it on, you uh, kind of game over. Do not use in moist or damp places or in high humidity, because if you do, you will kill yourself. Only use for voltage testings. Oh, I don't really know what else you're supposed to use it for. And do not use defective voltage testers, but of course the problem then is how do you know whether it's defective or not? Because uh, you can't test this thing uh, other than poking it onto a live supply. And of course if the thing had gone wrong internally you could get an electric shock there. And of course you can't actually uh, make it light up without using a live supply. There's no sort of other testing device you can realistically use on it. So uh, a bit of a fail there. The uh, leaf in question is uh, fairly extensive in length there, but uh, it's just the same information in uh, a number of different languages. And un unusually, it's uh, nowhere on there does it actually tell you how to use the thing. It just assumes you already know this information, and then just goes on, of course, to tell you uh, how useful it is, and uh, of course when you shouldn't use it at all. Until next time, thanks for watching.